What's going on guys, my name is Zach Perna and I'm a Gymshark athlete from Melbourne in Australia. So today's video is gonna be my tips on what kind of routine I implemented in lockdown that I'm still using right now. We're out of lockdown now, everything's pretty much back to normal here. But I know some of you guys are literally in peak lockdown. One tip I would recommend is right now, build a commercial gym in your house. That's, <laughs> that is basically what I did. So when uh, Gymshark asked me to do this video, I was like, yes, I'd love to. There's heaps of things that I kind of learned in lockdown. But then I'm like, it's gonna be a bit weird because people are gonna be like, hang on, didn't you build a gym in your house, which which I did. If you can look past that and be like, it's easy for you to say, then that would be amazing. Because there are mainly the things that changed in terms of my routine was my mentality towards routine in general. I didn't really have a solid routine before lockdown and I was very stressed just going through the motions of work or whatever it was. And so when that happened, it gave me a lot of time to just reassess what I was currently doing and if there was any ways I could change things, improve things. So there definitely was. And I'm gonna share with you guys today, basically five things that I that helped me, that, that I would recommend, and if you, you can take what you want, really. So um, everyone's different, everyone's going through different stuff in different situations, but if you can take one thing, then that would be great, why not? So the first thing I would recommend to you guys is develop a morning routine. Now, the morning routine will set you up for the day. If, you're, if you don't have anything planned and you just get out of bed when you feel like it or when you have to, you're kind of letting the day run you and you're gonna feel you're gonna feel worse as the day goes on. So you're kind of setting yourself up for a pretty average day. Now, one thing that helped me was I'm gonna tell you exactly my morning routine and it sounds weird as now that I say it, but I'm used to it, so it's great for me. I wake up, did you guess that? I'll then jump in a cold shower. I've done this in September and it just makes me feel amazing, but I know if you guys are in a cold climate, good luck. Uh, then I will uh, have some like morning coffee and read a book. Not a whole, not a whole book, but I'll read some, some of my book. Um, and I won't check my phone when I'm doing this as well. Now this is one thing that is really, really good for your mental health is just to get up, don't check your phone, start the day the way you wanna start it, um, and then I'll plan my day as well. So the reading helps me a lot, and I figured that is that deserves its own point. So tip number one is develop a good morning routine. Tip number two is read more. This is one thing that a lot of people actually don't do nowadays. A lot of people don't read just for fun, and I started doing this. I started doing this with Ross Edgley's book. If you know Ross Edgley, he's a Gymshark athlete, he's an absolute, he's awesome. But he wrote a book called The Art of Resilience, and I read that, and that was like opened up a whole door into stoicism, and just different ways of thinking, which was amazing for me. So that really helped me. I started with that book, highly recommend it. Then I started reading another book, uh, The Obstacle is Away by Ryan Holiday. All these are kind of stoicism books. They're pretty interesting, pretty interesting reads. I'd recommend them. Um, for me, it's helped me deal with things a lot better in anything, like good and bad. So um, it's, it's been good and humbling for that reason too. Um, but I think people should just read more in general. So I'm always recommending people to read. The third one is meditate. Now this is so, I know it sounds so um, like woo woo and hippie, but really meditation is something that uh, I noticed it when I stopped doing it. So I thought, in the beginning I thought I'm gonna try this. I started doing it, I downloaded a few apps. Calm was really good, I like that. Um, and I would just commit 10 minutes a day. Let's try and get something done, just 10 minutes a day. And in the beginning it was difficult because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just sitting there going, is this even working? This kind of sucks, I fell asleep. But after a while you kind of get used to it and get better at it. Now I notice if I don't do it, I'm much more stressed. Like I I'm, I'm, can't take things very well, I might be more snappy. Um, and I'm a bit more maybe anxious throughout the day. So it's one thing um, that I'm just trying to keep in. Now the next one is is exercise. So obviously if you are locked in your house, there's, there's probably not a lot you can do, but I will always argue that something is better than nothing. Now, and when you don't have access to gyms or equipment, um, there are a ton of workouts. I mean, even Gymshark has a heap of workouts of, of home workouts that you guys can do. But I will give you one of my um, workouts with just dumbbells, minimal equipment, dumbbell workout. We'll do a push workout. Um, let's just do it now. Today's workout, all you're going to need is one pair of dumbbells and uh, a bench or a chair or whatever you want, really. So first thing is a push-up mechanical drop set. So what we're doing is the hardest variation of push-ups first into an easy one and into an easy one. So because you're training at home, you wanna actually push every set till failure as intense as you can. So max reps of push-ups this way. And then once you finish that, max reps just regular. And then max reps on the chair or bench, or whatever you've got. Now the next one is a superset to hit the shoulders. So we're gonna hit the side delt and the front delt here. Normal side raise, superset with front raise. For side raises, I like to try and pull with your elbow. So instead of swinging, keep it nice and controlled. Pull up, squeeze with your elbow. So it's not your wrist that's leading the way, it's the elbow. Once you hit belly here, move into your front raises. Now you can do these single arm if you like, or double. I personally prefer single. Keep it nice and controlled. 
and try not to swing. And using the same dumbbells, a tricep extension. You can do this on a chair if you want the back support or just standing, standing is fine with me. Stretch, squeeze up. Stretch down as far as you come to we can and squeeze up. I like to go just short of lockout on the squeeze here too. And then swap once you fit failure. Next exercise is a dumbbell fly variation. I'm using one of these things, but you can use a towel if you just roll it up. Using the same dumbbells, slow, get the stretch, squeeze up. Again, you don't need to go all the way here. You can just go short of lock out there. Keep the tension on the chest. Next exercise is close grip push-ups here. You don't need to go the diamond traditional grip. You can just go just shoulder width a little bit wider and you want to focus on your elbows and your wrists coming down like that a little bit more as opposed to flaring them out. And max reps again. Squeeze up, really squeeze at the top there with the triceps. Next up, dumbbell shoulder press. Now, I'm assuming if you don't have heavy dumbbells, just grab the medium ones or whatever you've got and just control the tempo here. This is where you can make it difficult. So from here, dumbbell press and at least five seconds on the negative. Pause, squeeze up. See if you can squeeze up with the shoulder instead of just pressing up without thinking about it. Keep that time and attention. And now the final thing is journaling. Now again, again with the hippie woo woo stuff, but I do think it is very beneficial and can be, especially when you guys have so much like stuff going on. There's things going on you can't control, there's things going on you can. There's things that it'll just stress you out, especially it'll eat away at you if you're not doing something about it or at least you know releasing it and coming to terms with it. So that was one big thing for me is I didn't realize how much random stuff is going on in my head and how much shit I'm just thinking about and stressing about all the time. And when I started actually at the end of the day, just journaling or just reflecting, whatever you want to call it, I started to realize, ah, oh, that wasn't as big as I thought it was. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I can do this now. So for me, it was really good to just provide a bit of direction in what I can do. Identify the things that I can control. They're the things that I can be worried about, but then really you're not worried because you can do something about it. Then you identify the things you can't control that you don't have, a, there's no point in worrying and then you can let yourself kind of let them go and just relax a little bit. Another easy way, like, like cues, is just what am I grateful for? So to kind of wrap up this entire video, this is a really good one because it is easy to obsess and dwell on the things that aren't going well for you, what you guys don't have access to now. And granted, it's so, it's not good. It's not a good position to be in. Being locked down, nobody wants that and you have things taken away from you. So an easy thing to do is just focus on what you do have, what is good, what, you know, what has been going good for you, what have you got to hang on to. Some of my stuff I was grateful for, I was like, I'm grateful for these, for the, like making a sick breakfast of poached eggs because I nailed it. And I'm like, that was awesome, I enjoyed that. And doing that every single night, allows you to kind of enjoy the moment a bit more the next day. It will put you in a better mood. And that's what I'm, I want you guys to be in the best mood you possibly can given the circumstances. There's no point just being uh, upset and you know sad until the whole thing blows over. Why? Um, I've learned a lot about just myself in general through, throughout this period. And I'm kind of glad because it gave me these, a bit of a kick to um, work on myself and focus on the things that are important instead of you know what is directly in front of me, what work task is in front of me at the time. So. Um, they are my tips guys all in all. I hope you can take one thing away from that Just focus on the things that you can control what you can do and see if you can get one good thing that can come out of this whole Pretty average process, but that is it for me guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video and we will see you next time <laughs>